Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a Halloween candy tier list. Now if you're new here, Casino, sub and ring the bell. So now that it's October and it's Halloween now, uh, I want to talk about my favorite and least favorite Halloween candies in the form of a tier list. So I know I just did a tier list recently with soda and like the soda tier list, I'm like, I thought I already did this and I looked way back. I'm like, no, I haven't. So uh, I wanted to talk about these today because I have a lot of thoughts on some of these candies. So yeah, let's get started. So the first one, oh, that's a w really bad start. Um, so it used to be that Butterfingers used to be my favorite candy bar, like top tier. Ever since this new recipe change has come out, it has been horrible. Like the only time I get Butterfinger anything is if it's ice cream. But the last time I've had a Butterfinger bar has been like two or three years. Which really sucks because like it just, it's such a downgrade. And like the fact that it's been around for this long and it hasn't like, I just don't know how it's succeeding. Because like, yeah, the Nestle version wasn't that successful like in the end. But like it's way better than this freaking recipe change. So I'm not happy at all that it's changed. I'm still pissed about it. Like... It was like every time I get Butterfingers now in my trick or treat box, it sucks because like, I just, I mean like, I eat them if there's like absolutely nothing left in the Halloween thing, but it's just like, I just hate Butterfingers now. So I'm gonna put it on an E because the only thing I eat Butterfinger anything now is uh, like ice cream and stuff like shakes. Yeah, I'm just still mad about that recipe change. Uh, Kit Kat. Uh, I like Kit Kat. I'm gonna say A. I actually don't eat this one as much as I want to because, like, some of these candies I always kind of, or some of them I forget that they exist. So I don't get that many candies, like, other than Halloween. So, yeah, so Kit Kat is pretty good. Uh, I actually really like the chocolate and the wafer is really good inside. But I don't have it that often. I need to, though, because it's really good. Uh, so yeah. Almond Joy is horrible oh my god almond joy is horrible f all the way coconuts like i know that some people say ew co coconut is bad and people like say oh it's for you're like a five-year-old that doesn't like coconut like even if i liked the coconut the chocolate isn't even good so it's just you there's no advantages to getting almond joy like the fact that almond joy is still existing and somehow somewhere people are buying them and eating them and they're still succeeding that makes no sense to me because every time i've gone gotten an almond joy and trick-or-treating i throw it away i don't even try to eat it because like it's horrible like i feel like even in coconut standards it sucks even then i don't like coconuts so like i remember one time I actually did this, um, like, I think it was a couple days after Halloween, I bunched up all the Almond Joys that I got, and it was a lot, and I burned them in a fire pit, that's how much I hate this candy. Hellfire, dark fire, now gypsy, it's your turn. Now, I might be a little bit over dramatic, but it's just like, just like, I hate, I hate Almond Joy, it just sucks. Now, some people like Mounds too, which is the dark chocolate version, but I haven't even tried that because it sucks. So yeah. Three Musketeers. Uh, I'm gonna say B. So, uh, the, the times I have had Three Musketeers, it's pretty good. Um, I like the nougat in it, uh, but it does get a little tiring after a while if you've had a lot of them. Three Musketeers is not really a candy that you can eat constantly. Like, it, you have to eat it sparingly because if you don't, you'll get tired of it and... That's happened to me before. So it's a pretty good candy. It's just, I don't like eating it in large amounts because like I get tired of it. So uh, Hershey's, Hershey's milk chocolate. Um, This one's conflicting. So I don't know where to put it yet, but uh, more recently, I just have found more better chocolate compared to Hershey's. Now not to say that Hershey's chocolate is terrible. I think far from it. It's just, every time I've gone chocolate for pretty much the majority of my life, it's been Hershey's. The main reason why Hershey's is starting to dip below for me is because 
there's so much better chocolate brands compared to Hershey's. It's mainly because the chocolate is just starting to get a little bit boring and it's very waxy. That's the feeling is that, I mean, it's still a decent flavor, but the texture is starting to not really, I'm not really a fan of it anymore. So I think I'm going to say C for this one because even like what, when I do get it in trick or treating, I do like it. But it's when you eat them in the big amounts with the big bars. Like the mini bars I actually like better because it's not as filling because you don't have as much. So yeah, so Hershey's, I'm still liking it, but it's starting to do, it's starting to fall off for me because there's so much better chocolate brands. Hershey's cookies and cream. So uh, I'm gonna say B. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now this might be a very controversial opinion because I know some people don't like the cookies and cream and white chocolate, but every time I've had white chocolate recently, it's starting to get better for me. Like, it used to be that white chocolate, I was like, no. And now it's still the feeling that I have with dark chocolate because dark chocolate is just too bitter. Every time I tried white chocolate in the past few years, I'm like, I actually like this. Now, I know it's not technically chocolate, it's more like milk. Yeah, so I'm really starting to white, like white chocolate because like, yeah, it's not something that I have all the time, but every time I do have it, especially the white chocolate Kit Kats, those are really good. I love those. And there are some white chocolate brand stuff that I like better than milk chocolate because I actually like cookies and cream better than Hershey's chocolate and milk chocolate. So that's a very controversial opinion. If you gave me these uh, cookies and cream bars, I would like it a lot more. Like if it went in the Halloween basket. But yeah, dots. Oh my God, this one sucks too. <laughs> like every time I've gone on these, it ends in disaster because like, I don't mind gumdrops. I think they're fine. But I think the reason why they suck so bad is because they are almost impossible to eat without hurting your mouth. It's just like, and even the flavor isn't that good. I mean, the flavor is not the main problem for me. It's how hard it is to eat. And another candy is like that that I'll mention later. But it's just so impossible to eat without hurting your jaw. It's insane. But yeah, I avoid these at all costs because like, and, and like who's still getting these? Like who is still buying them? I, I just don't get it. Candy corn. Ooh, controversial. Okay, con candy corn. This is probably the most divisive candy like candy I've ever heard or seen. There's one side to where it says it's really good, but the other side is like, this is absolute trash. This is one of the few foods, not even just candies, foods, that every time I try it, I have a different reaction. Sometimes I try it, I'm like, okay, this is decent. And then I could literally try it two days later and I'm like, this sucks. It switches constantly. I almost kind of want to say I want to have a definitive opinion because it's like, if I don't go eating candy corn for like a few months, which I have, because my mom bought candy corn recently and like I had it and I'm like, okay, this isn't that bad. But then I had candy corn before that or like before recently and it sucked. So it's just like, make up your mind, taste buds. Like, I just want to have a definitive opinion, but it switches all the time. I don't know if I'm the only person that's experiencing this, but I don't know, man. I, I don't know where to put it because it's hard because like it switches on a daily basis of how, if I like it or not. I am going to say for the good days, it's a C, but if if it's like bad or like bad brand, I would say an E. So I'm going to say C, like I'm right in the middle. So like I could eat like it one day and I could absolutely despise it another day. So Smarties, uh, okay. So do I think Smarties is a really good candy? No, but I think Smarties gets a little bit too much hate. There is another candy that's very similar to this that I'll mention later, but I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna say uh, C on this one. Like if you handed me a roll of Smarties, I'm fine with it. Like I don't get mad. Oh, whatchamacallit. Yes, this is a really good bar. This is probably one of my favorite like candy bars ever. 
and it's so weird because this wasn't I remember this used to be like an 80s candy bar like it was in the 80s and they brought it back like around five years ago I believe and every time I'm in a gas station when I'm filling my filling up gas because usually when I fill up gas I usually like to do it in person with the person there instead of using my card every time I'm in the gas station nowadays I gotta watch my call like I'm it's so good like the chocolate and the peanut wafers or not the peanut like the the crunch like and I'm not a big fan of peanut stuff normally but the the crispiness and what's inside that candy bar is so good so it's so weird because this is more of a recent thing like in the past four or five years I've really grown to love it so yeah this is like I think it's way better than Hershey's like I actually eh, I don't know if they're made by the same brand but yeah this is really good milk duds sucks too yay that one sucks it's just it's too hard to eat the exact same thing with dots I, are they are they owned both by the tootsie roll brand because like milk dots suck they just like even like even if you get to the center it's not that great but every time i've tried milk dots it just hurts like my jaw hurts by the end of it and i i don't think in my entire life i've ever finished a box of milk duds exactly the same thing with dots they both have very similar problems so it's just like it's funny but yeah this sucks twizzlers um this sucks really bad too um i know some people like twizzlers i'm like how and licorice is just kind of a weird thing for me like the closest thing that i like to licorice is red vines which i prefer way more con compared to twizzlers like, and that's kind of crazy because, like, it's just Twizzlers are so bland. They just, even, they make it seem on the packaging that, like, it's, like, flavorful and colorful and tasteful. But it's nothing of the sort. It's just, every time I've had it, it's just so bland and the texture sucks. Red Vines would still be, like, a, a C for me if, I, if it was on here. But I think they're better than Twizzlers. It's just, like, I didn't put this on there now that I think about it, black licorice is worse, like, the worst thing imaginable, even worse than Twizzlers, like, I would put black licorice in its own category, which I wish I put it on here, but, yeah, so Twizzlers, they suck, um, Tootsie Rolls, uh, people say these are one of the worst candies of all time, which I think that's a little harsh, um, because they're so common, and because they're cheaper, like, every time I've gotten them in trick-or-treating, I'm like, okay, this could be worse. And I've had that thought ever since I was, like, really young. Like, I'm just like, Tootsie Rolls aren't that bad. The flavored ones I have mixed opinions about. I do like the vanilla ones. Uh, but the other ones, I'm like, eh. But uh, Tootsie Rolls, I think they're a little overhated. So, I'm gonna say C for this one. Like, a lot of people will put it all the way down there. But I just don't think they're bad, that bad. It's just like the only decent thing that I feel like Tootsie makes is Tootsie Pops and these Tootsie Rolls. Am, am, am I thinking of anything else that they make good? I swear I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, strawberry candies. So I like I didn't remember this candy up until recently because I'm like I've had these before and it just felt kind of felt like a fever dream because I'm just like what are these things actually called and i don't remember what the name of it is with like the actual brand but a lot of it on google just says strawberry hard uh candies and i think these are fine like i've always it's just kind of neutral uh so i'm gonna say well i think it's a little bit better than candy corn but uh like i'm gonna say b for this one like every time i've had it i think it's pretty good so reese's uh man okay so uh, I really like peanut butter stuff. I don't really buy, like, uh, actual Reese's candy, like, package, because there's only two. Like, it's just, like, it's the same price compared to, like, a candy bar that could be bigger. So, I'm not really a fan of them being only two in there and considering it a bar. I'm not a big fan of that. But the peanut butter is my favorite part. The chocolate, I'm like, okay, this is fine. But, like, Reese's... Like, a lot of people say that this is, like, top tier. And I think it actually is the best-selling candy in Halloween and stuff, or even in general. But, like, I just... 
it's just eh, it's just kind of meh. So, uh, I don't know, this is gonna be controversial. I don't know where to put this, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll put it in C because, like, the chocolate is eh, but the peanut butter is pretty good. Job Busters. Uh, so my thoughts on Jawbreakers in general, I'll say that, is, uh, the big ones I hate, because, no joke, I, one time I bought a Jawbreaker at Silver Dollar City, I had that for four months of trying to finish it, like, it's like, this is absolutely crazy, but I would keep it in a Ziploc bag, and I would try to eat it, or I would lick it, just for the flavor every day for four months got only to like halfway i'm not even kidding and i'm just like why like luckily these are smaller i really do prefer smaller jawbreakers because like they end quicker and the flavor is better in my opinion so i just don't know anyone even in history who has finished a big giant jawbreaker maybe like edit and edit and andy or something like that but it's just like yeah, Jawbusters are pretty decent, uh, yeah, but I don't have them all the time, so, you know what, I actually, well, I had some when I did the video of trying Nostalgia Candies, I had a couple of these, and they're alright, but I think they're a little bit higher than C, though, so I'm gonna say B. Oh my god, my nemesis. Oh my god! Ah! Wait, what? Oh, what is that, man? Neko wafers. So for older viewers, or like older viewers of the channel, which was last year, tried this candy on uh, the trying nostalgia candies video. Oh my god, this actually might be the worst candy I've ever had in my life. I'm not even exaggerating. So when I tried this, I was just in shock on how bad it was. Now I heard people say that it sucked. But I did not think it was going to suck that hard. Because it's just like, everything about it is wrong. The packaging is wrong. The feel of the candy is wrong. Like, when you have it in, like, your hand, like, with, with one, it doesn't, it feels like chalk. It feels like when, like, oh my god, I'm freaking out about it right now. When you're, you have, like, sidewalk chalk, it feels like that. Oh my god, I'm cringing. And then the taste sucks. And then the texture. That's the worst part. The texture is literally like chewing chalk. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, and the fact that people were upset about it when the company was going to discontinue them. To Revere's mayor begging him to help save the factory. It's just, oh my god, this candy sucks. Uh, yeah, no question. Like, in the fact that these last, like, two years afterwards, because it's all just sugary, and sugary's even being generous for it. It's chalky. Everything that's about it is wrong. It just, it sucks. So, yeah, sorry about the rant. It's, I'm still in disbelief on how bad they were. So, yeah. Uh, Crunch. Crunch is pretty good. Uh, I'll say a B. Uh, like, I really do like that crisp rice type thing. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they just put Rice Krispies into the bar. But, uh, like, it... It works. The chocolate isn't my favorite, but it's better than Hershey's in my opinion. But yeah, so I, I like Crunch Bars. Uh, circus Peanuts, why? Why do these exist? And I've had this only one time, and they still suck. They still are horrible. They are not as bad as Necco Waver. So if I put it like this, that's better. Is These still really suck. It seems like when I tried Necco Wafers, they made... Circus Peanuts seem like a masterpiece of craft. I've had it only one time, and it's just, it's such a weird texture. Like, I mean, it's not as bad. I don't hate it as much as the chalky texture on Necco Wafers. It's just like, every time I've tried Circus Peanuts in general, or the one time I have, it just sucks, so. Uh, Payday. Uh, I haven't had this one in 10 years at least. And I think I would maybe like it a little bit more because I'm older and it's peanuts and it's basically just caramel and peanuts which if I I need to try that now because do you remember I remember the last time I tried this was like 2013 or something like that and I just really I didn't like it so 
for now, it's like D, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if it's a little bit of a longer video than average, but I wanted to talk about these today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.